Good morning everyone and welcome to Vlogmas Day 17. 17! Ah! So last night, my dad, bless his little heart, came round. So Tim and I, like I said, in yesterday's vlog or the vlog before, we've been going to bed like super early, like in bed by 9, 9.30 and watching like TV, like one show in bed and then going to sleep because we're crazy 24 year olds. And my dad was like, oh, I'm going to pop something round, drop something through the letterbox. And I was like, okay, fine. Let's go downstairs, watch we're watching an episode of Big Mouth in bed and then my dad starts ringing me and he's been standing outside for a while, bless him, and I hadn't answered the door. I couldn't hear him knocking. To give me this. <laughs> my 2,000 subscriber congratulations card. And can we please just talk about the glow up? <laughs> From here to here. That is quite the glow up. So thank you, Pa. 200k. La, 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 la. Grinch, don't kill my vibe. So I just got back from the gym. I've just had my breakfast and I was going to do another little declutter, but I decided that I want to do something that's more fun for me. Um, <laughs> I'm sure you guys will think this is fun too, but I've been wanting to make, I actually made one um, a couple of weeks ago and I wanted to show you guys how to make them. I wanted to make a hot chocolate bomb melting snowman edition so i wanted to make it into a little reel but i thought i might as well vlog it for you guys as well so hot chocolate bombs are not original like they've been done many a time before but i made one the other day that it was and it was just so cute and so delicious that i have to show you how to do it so let me just get everything ready and set up and then i'll show you also do you like my Grinch don't kill my vibe top. So I've just set up my little backdrop to make my reel and making these things is super easy. So all I've got is a cupcake mold. This was from Amazon and I'm gonna use these little, ooh, I'm gonna use the little lady snowmans. And all you do is melt some white chocolate. Ta-da! I've put a couple of drops of peppermint flavoring in. Um, but that's optional mix it stir it together and then put it in the molds let it set do another layer let that set so it's nice and thick basically and then you just fill it with whatever you want i'm going to use white hot chocolate as well as some peppermint marshmallows and then again you let it set and then you just pour hot milk on top and it's a delicious hot chocolate. <laughs> a little behind the scenes. But first I'm just melting the chocolate, one sec. I'm just melting some white chocolate in a bain marie with a couple of drops of peppermint flavoring. And you just wanna stir it until it is smooth and melted. I don't have any white chocolate left, that was it. It worked perfectly when I did it for fun. And then the second I try and film it, nope, that sucks. Sorry guys. <laughs> Screw it man. Oh how I wish for the Christmas season. Oh, I'm truly and genuinely upset. <laughs> it still tastes freaking amazing though. Guys, I just made a massive boo-boo. <laughs> so I am editing, I just up, well, okay, wow. I just finished editing um, Friday night's vlog and I just went on this SD card to delete some clips and I realized that I recorded me hitting 200K, I recorded my celebration, I recorded so many clips and I didn't put any of them in the vlog because they were on a different SD card and I just deleted them by accident. So, <laughs> I guess I'll have to repeat myself. Um, I hit 200,000 subscribers and I am so over the moon and it's like a massive deal for me and I'm so grateful to everyone who's subscribed, whether you subscribed to me yesterday or 10 years ago, like, 
that's a massive milestone for me. I filmed me live seeing it and I can't believe I deleted it. I'm so upset. But anyway, we just went to the post office, dropped off the mugs. I now need to go back out and pay for them because I just dropped them off. He processes all of them and then I go back and pay. So I need to go and do that in a minute when he texts me. And I just got a little parcel from Diego de la Palma, which you, I love Diego de la Palma. I talk about them quite a lot. And it's their autumn winter collection. For a start, how striking is that imagery? Isn't that amazing? I love that. And it's all purples. We've got a purple quad. There's also a greyish quad, which I thought was quite interesting. There is a bronzer and blush duo, which looks stunning. And then three kind of purpley mauve tone lipsticks, a um, couple of lip glosses, a bright purple mascara, and like a, a plummy aubergine liner. So yeah, a really lovely parcel. Thank you so much. I love Diego de la Palma. I love their eyeshadows. While I wait for my post office man to text me, this is a problem that I'm about to fix. I was just doing a little bit of Christmas card writing. This is the one I got my sister. Hopefully she won't have seen it yet. <laughs> but this just reminds, reminds me of her. <laughs> it looks a bit like her. <laughs> oh God. I'm glad I filmed that though because I forgot to take off the price tags. I nearly did a tin. Sometimes I think I should make something different for breakfast and then I remember how delicious stewed apples are and I just don't do it. So I'm gonna stew some apples right now. <laughs> shocker, shocker. Let's do this. Nothing better than stewing some apples in a freshly cleaned kitchen, be ready for the morning, good times. When all the ingredients are present, we got some ginger, cinnamon, lots of cinnamon nutmeg allspice apples lemon juice this is the combination when all of the right elements are involved it's a good stewing day we've got cooking apples and granny smith's amazing add that h2o h2 ho 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 <laughs> i need to go to bed my man just called me i need to go and i'll cook these afterwards sorry apples all paid back to stewing they've had some time to soak <laughs> I need to do some meal prep. Honestly, I don't know when. I'm not going to have time tomorrow. But I do need to do some. Because honestly, having that curry pre-made was so helpful this week. I definitely need to do that again for next week. But I guess I don't really know what I'm going to be eating next week. It's Christmas. I don't know, my friends. For dinner tonight, incoming Tim, we're having burgers with these brioche buns and the um beyond burger meat burgers um that i showed you in yesterday's vlog or what this video is going up on sunday friday's vlog tim's got a vr head oh wow that's bad isn't it yeah. i know it was a long time you've been playing for a long time it's like 90 time. minutes that yeah a long a lot of zombie stress he was playing the walking dead game Got the katana, I'm like Michonne now. Wow. What? It's very stressful. Slicing and dicing. Honestly sounds like my worst nightmare. Got to know, yeah, it's in like days, when you get to the end of the day, that's when you like go back and if you stay out, all the zombies come out, more the zombies, and they come get you. Come grab you. You ready for the best Christmas of our lives? Are you talking to me or them? Everyone, we're all excited. I'm ready for the 25th of December, I guess. 2021, am I right? <laughs> oh. uh, mm, it's all gonna be good. No, it's not. It is, just pretend. Uh. Oh. <laughs> Presentation. <laughs> oh no, I haven't done my sauce. Oh, bitch. 
happy bun. Ah. We are watching, what's the film called? Dallas Buyers Club. So far it's very dark, like not dark, very sad. It's a heavy film. I wanted to watch a Christmas film. <laughs> not what I've been given, but I am about to have another bit. Sorry, I'm not in focus. My camera just won't focus anymore. I think I need to get a new camera. Um, I'm having another one of these Bakewells and Tim is having some of the Kinder Bueno brownie that I got sent. I don't know if you can tell how dark it is, but it is pretty dark outside. Good morning everyone excuse that the lamp is just on the sofa i need to find its forever home it's so beautiful that it needs somewhere equally as beautiful today is one of the most stressful days of the year for me i'm sorting out my taxes so what i'm gonna do is do my taxes up until 11 15 ish and then i need to go get my nails done which is going to be my break so i'm going to walk to the nail salon which is like a 40 minute walk get my steps in because i am going to be sat all day otherwise um go get my nails done get some tacky christmas nails can't wait i am really 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 gonna miss these though i think these are some of my favorite nails i've ever had i just like how clean they are i like the white i'm definitely gonna get white again and then i'm gonna come back and keep doing the boring stuff but tonight is the strictly come dancing final which is i am gutted that it's over honestly strictly has kept me sane for the latter for the latter part of this year it's i look forward to it so much so yeah it's the strictly final tonight so we are going to order a curry and we are going to have some drinks and just have a really nice evening to also celebrate me doing the scary taxes <laughs> and also to celebrate yesterday i sold out of my mugs which is huge like huge huge and also to celebrate 200k i've decided it's a celebration it's an evening of celebrating so yeah even though during the day i think the vlog will be a little bit lame today i think we're gonna have a lovely evening and also a nail montage. So we'll make it work, honeybees. I think tomorrow, so Monday's vlog is gonna be um, the wrapping video. I'm gonna take most of Sunday to wrap. Write the rest of my cards, you know, just all those Christmassy things. Yeah, gutted that we're not going to Bista Village today. That was the plan, but you gotta, got to be responsible so excuse me while i quickly throw on a face <laughs> i am also just doing this because i have to go to get my nails done and that's a social occasion these days so i want to look nice <laughs> you never know who you're gonna see in the nail salon especially just before christmas it's rammed she had my nail girl added some extra dates which is the only way i got an, an appointment because i missed the original um call out for last orders and she was like i'm adding some extra dates you need to book it she looks after me <laughs> and my nail maintenance otherwise i would just look like a mess all the time she's like you really need to remember to book in like the day my nails are hanging off i call like hi do you have any space and they're just like this dior foundation man it will just never never end it is endless doing my makeup in white trousers is a real risky business because i'm such a like I just wipe my hands on my pajama bottoms. I usually get ready in my pajamas so I can just wipe my hands off on my clothes. <laughs> but I got dressed first and I keep, muscle memory keeps making me like go to wipe my hands. I have to remember, don't do that. <laughs> do not do that on those trousers, Emma. Anyway, now I'm actually going, see ya. You have to like tilt it backwards and forwards. Oi! <laughs> I couldn't actually film it because behind you is like my entire bank statement. <laughs> Liz is just doing an eye bath whilst on FaceTime. Is that what's in your eye? Hmm? Is, that, is that what's Is that what's in your eye? The eyelash is the wrong way around. Yeah, there's an eyelash that's the wrong way around. That might be what's the problem. Yeah, that's what I said. I was like, is that what's in your eye? <laughs> yeah. 
Jesus Wowie, what a ride. I've taken a brief intermission. Sorry, I'm talking to the camera now, Liz. Um, okay. I've taken a brief intermission from um, the boring paperwork to chat to Liz, who has something in her eye. In case you're wondering what the drama is about. How are you feeling, Liz? Distressed. Distressed. <laughs> How are you feeling, Em? Uh, distressed also, actually. <laughs> Yeah, dis distressed in a very different way. It's more like a, more of an internal like <laughs> cramp in my chest rather than in my eyeball. I haven't gone blind, so that's good. That's so good. So that help ease your distress as well. Good, good. Yes, part of my distress was also worrying about your eye. So, does it feel better? Yeah. No, not at all. Oh. Maybe put a, do a tip, put an eye patch on. An eye patch, I could. <laughs> Speak of the devil. Hey. It's Captain LaFosse himself. Hello. Is it really hey, Tom. Um, hey, Tom. Hi. <laughs> Hello, random man in Emma's house. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy, is that a new t-shirt? It is. Thank yeah. you for noticing. It's nail time. I'm thinking, um, I just asked Liz what she thought I should, oh, sorry. I just asked Liz what I, she thinks I should get. She was thinking tartan. So, oh, kitty. So I'm thinking green tartan because my family clan's tartan is green. So I thought that could be quite different, something fun. But also I don't have a lot of time today so we'll see whether <laughs> that may be a bit too time consuming. We'll see how we're feeling. Maybe just one, like a, a token tartan finger. But I'm excited to get out of the house to go sit in another building get pampered. I also really like how my makeup came, came out today. It's a shame no one will see it. No new products, all the same products as usual. Just like how they came out. I have been testing out a new skincare product, however, that I love. I'm very, very pleased with it. It was the one I was talking to you about yesterday. Oh, yeah. It's honestly, I think my skin is like, it's just so glowy and I'll talk to you about it probably in my January favorites. You'll have to wait. See you in the nail montage. Ta-da! They're so cute. They match my family tartan. And you can kind of still see the glitter underneath from my last nails, which I think is quite cool. Yeah, I love them. Hello everyone, I'm still here. Still plugging away. Tim's bringing me a tea. I just need to remain caffeinated. We're getting a curry tonight, which I I'm so excited for, oh my God. Wow, she's shiny. Good evening, everyone. So we just had a little chat with Mr. Bobo. Bobo Jojo just uh, did, a, did an announcement that Christmas is canceled this year. Um, Thumbnail. <laughs> Christmas is canceled. <laughs> so here's the, here's the dealio. We are now in tier four because we are near London, we're tier four, which means for me, to be honest with you, I think it's been quite clear that I'm not overly fussed about Christmas this year. Um, Christmas, we're not allowed to mix with any other households at all. So me and Tim are gonna spend Christmas day, just the two of us, which is it's hilarious. Really weird. That's gonna be so weird. We've got to really work hard to make it Christmas here. Yeah, we, we, we're gonna do it. We're gonna lay the table all nice. Yeah. I'll finally get to host Christmas. It will just be yeah. with two people. It's gonna be fine. You guys can watch me make Christmas day. But I think it's gonna be quite an interesting thing to vlog. Oh, yeah. I actually wanna set, so hang on, let me finish the update. So Christmas is canceled. So it's just me and Tim. Also, um, gyms are closed, which is, really hard we are going to well i have managed to swipe a 50 kilogram adjustable barbell and a small squat rack which i'm going to put in my garden hopefully that will be okay i've got my weights from the first lockdown 
my coach is rewriting me a plan which is actually super helpful so yeah a bit of a bit of a disaster what's the date it's the 19th we are less than a week out from christmas and boris has just told us that we're not allowed to mingle with any other households so wow here's the plan of action on my channel at least which obviously you need updates on that is what's important right now <laughs> lol how we were supposed to be at bista village today huh oh man i just went and got my nails done luckily i got them done today yeah. but i don't know how long this lockdown is going to be i might have to do my own nails again not important so what I was planning on doing, my friends, was I was going to daily vlog or daily vlog up until the 23rd. And then I was just going to vlog Christmas Eve, Christmas Day, Boxing Day and the morning of the 27th and edit that as the last weekly vlog of the year because that will be the last weekly vlog of the year. So the daily vlogs are going to stop. The last, the last vlogmas will be on the 24th of December and then you'll get a four day vlog as a weekly vlog on the 27th. We're nearly at the end of Vlogmas because the weekly vlogs return next week, which I'm really excited about. I've really missed the weekly vlogs. And you guys get to watch four days of chaos of me and Tim trying to be as festive elf-like people as much as possible for, for four days. Wow. I have so nearly finished my taxes which I'm really, really proud of myself. I sat down and I did it. I will probably FaceTime my dad because he's very good at this stuff and just check that I've done everything okay. But I think I've done it right. I'll probably have a look at it again tomorrow just to make sure um, and then send it over to my accountant. And then I'm pretty much done. I'm gonna stop now because honestly, that was a bit of a low blow. Make myself a cup of tea. We're gonna order a curry. We've already ordered it actually. We have. It comes in a couple of hours, but strictly starts in 40 minutes so tim and i are going to get some bevs in oh yeah and have a sorry tim's playing a scary game and he's afraid we're just gonna have a tipsy saturday night morn this year and christmas i'm really happy i managed to get that barbell though that was such yeah, a yeah i think that's really <sighs> fast acting of you yeah honestly the second he said gym's closed i was on amazon i was like i need to get these before they sell out because last time i missed out um and you may have remembered actually i ordered a 30 kilogram barbell in the second lockdown it never arrived so i had to cancel it and it just never came which i'm glad it never came now because i think the adjustable ones are much more convenient for me that's my update what a freaking mess i'm gonna go take off my makeup i have a feeling i'm gonna be rubbing my eyes in stress because i need bill bailey to win strictly <laughs> he has to win he has to chin chin everyone Merry Christmas. We got some body and some bubbly. I don't know what I'm celebrating. Yeah, go on, Bill! Go, Bill! Go, Bill! And now is the moment we've all been waiting for. Who will be the winners of Strictly Come Dancing 2020? We're about to find out. Best of luck to you all. I feel sick. Oh my God, please. Bill, please. I'll try. <laughs> I actually Let's will. Just... Come on, Bill. Oh my it's god. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be. I know it. I can feel it. It's not. It's gonna be Tim. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be Bill. It's gonna be Bill. It is. It is. Lockdowns and then I need to put my rice on. I knew he could do it. <laughs> Ooh, what a emotional roller coaster that was. What a day. What what a day. I've gone from 
the most stressful thing, you guys know how I feel about doing tax returns, <laughs> from pure stress to heartbreak from the tier four lockdown to just elation from Bill Bailey winning. Like, I know it may seem like a massive overreaction, but honestly, Bill Bailey just stands for everything that is good in this world. He's so wholesome and so gentlemanly and I just love him. Week one, I said he was gonna win. I can't believe he's won. I'm so, I honestly am so happy. We're having a curry tonight. Tim's just gone to collect it, but I'm making my own rice. Where's my rice? Everything's gonna be okay, guys. Christmas may not be what we hoped, but everything is going to be okay. Bill Bailey just won Strictly Come Dancing. Did you guys know I saw Bill Bailey live when I was like 17? Me and my friend Cara, we went to Reading Festival and he was performing in this little tent and I was like, we have to go and see Bill Bailey. Like I was, I was like, Kaz, I'm sorry, but we have to go and see him. And it wasn't his crowd. It was a bunch of drunk teenagers who didn't fully understand or respect Bill Bailey, but I was like, we have to go and see Bill Bailey. Oh yeah, we got some nuns. We got some korma in here. The rice is on the go, baby. A chicken korma, naan, and the holiday. What more could we ask for, Timmy, eh? Oh, yeah. Other than Christmas. Mm -hmm. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. A giant cookie. Undercooked, but over delicious. Good morning everyone, it's the next morning and I am just here to sign off today's vlog. It was, I, I honestly don't know how to describe this vlog. I am all over the place. You can see how emotionally unstable I was yesterday. <laughs> what a mess. But I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog anyway. Um, yeah, God. Like I said, with the scheduling of the vlogs, the vlogs end on the 24th and then you guys are gonna get a um weekly vlog on sunday on the 27th so yeah thanks for watching guys and i will see you tomorrow <laughs>